Greetings Earthlings, I'm back with another mic review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing the Samson C01, which is the XLR version of the C01U Pro. If you do want to pick this guy up, it will set you back around 73 bucks. Like always, I'll throw some links down below. And to test it, I'm connecting it to the Focusrite 2i2 second gen. Input gain set at around 12 o'clock. Not going to do any post-processing, compression, EQ, anything. But I will likely boost it in post, so check the doobly-doo to see what I did. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. First off, everything comes in this plastic carrying case, which has a foam insert to keep the microphone safe. You're obviously going to get the microphone. You get a microphone mount. You get a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter and you get some documentation. As far as the build quality of this thing, it feels perfectly fine. It has an all metal body, a really sturdy metal mesh grill, and a good amount of weight to it. On the front, you will find a blue LED light, which will illuminate when it's plugged in and getting 48 volts of phantom power. And on the bottom, you'll find the XLR port. When we get to specs, this has a hypercardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 40 hertz to 18 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 33 decibels, an impedance of 200 ohms, and a max SPL of 136 decibels. So now I'm spinning around the C01 to see what the off-axis coloration is at 90 degrees, then moving around to 180 degrees. And as this is a hypercardioid polar pattern, it will sound slightly different around the sides and the rear will pick up slightly more audio than a standard cardioid polar pattern. Now I'm typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm right on top of the microphone to see what kind of proximity effect you can get on this thing. Now I'm about four or five inches away from the microphone with a Stedman Pro Screen 101 to see how it sounds with a pop filter. About one foot away from the microphone, about two feet away from the microphone, and about four feet away from the microphone. <laughs> trolls i hope you're glad because now nobody loves you not even your dad your jokes suck so unfortunately i just wasn't terribly impressed with this mic in terms of pros it does have a pretty decent build quality and i also like the fact that it comes with a storage box to protect the microphone while you're carrying it around or storing it and then in terms of cons, this thing does seem to have a pretty bad self noise. The focus right was set at 50% and it got pretty darn noisy. So I'll go ahead and shut up and see if you can hear this. And additionally, if you're not right on top of the microphone, it does seem to lack quite a bit in the lower frequencies. So either you will have to use the proximity effect to your benefit, or you'll have to do some EQ and post to boost up that lower end. So as far as my overall thoughts, like I already said, I'm just not the biggest fan of this thing. I think it lacks a bit too much in the low end. I think it got a bit too sibilant around 6 kilohertz, and then just all around, it's a bit too harsh for me. It got painful to listen to over long periods of time, and then also the self-noise just wasn't that good. So unless this is the only microphone that you're able to get, I think you should look around and find a different microphone because the microphone market is so competitive at this price range that you're going to be able to find something better. All right, guys, that'll do it for today. If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. If you want to influence what I review next, geeksrising.com slash podcast. You can cast a vote there. Want more videos like this? Click the logo beneath me. Check out the Discord server. Link in the description. And I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.